Good morning, my little potato chips. We patty from across the shock, and uh, it's a Rough Rider video. One of my subs, who was blunt and direct to the point, said <laughs> said after my last grill knife, he said, "Right, Patty, I want something cheaper. I want budget knife. This is a budget knife." <laughs> to that man, uh, I'm not sorry. I had to show you my knives because they're my knives, but you know. And anybody who's with me for a long time know that I enjoy this just as much as anything else. And this was uh, sent to me by Heine. Up here, the discount code for this month is up on the channel. Uh, it'll be underneath this video. Um, this is a, a, a new version over here in the UK. It's the Black Smooth Bone. I think I've done a couple. But this is the Little Peanut. And I love small knives. I have an array of them here. Now, if you stay to the end of this video, which is not going to be that long, uh, there's something I want you to do as subscribers. Now, I'm not talking to YouTubers, but by all means, join in if, if, you, if you would like to. <clears throat> it's not an open tag or anything. It's just something we can do together. So, as usual, it's a £16 knife when you use your discount code. It's a Rough Rider Peanut Black Smooth Bone, real bone died comes in the most beautiful presentation box and i know you know i hear companies say we don't do it for the presentation we do it for the knives rough rider put the pre put the the knife itself front and foremost because they're just fantastic value for what you're paying look at that i think that is one of the most elegant little peel up knives i've ever seen i think it's beautiful and in the back I can show you. Look at this. Can you see this? It is black. It's been dyed black bone. But where the, the bone hasn't maybe taken the black dye as much, it's like a blue hue that goes on behind it. Beautifully done. The lovely diamond uh, Rough Rider Shield. Red linen or red micarta liners. This is a peanut liners, right? Look at the construction on this knife. Beautiful pins, beautiful transitions, literally nothing. Look at the back. Absolutely stunning. There's a couple of wee tiny things, but look, it's a 16 pound knife. I know it's cheaper in the States and maybe other places, but it's 16 pound here when you use your discount code. It'll be somewhere around that. I just think this is stunning. What a lovely carry to have in your fifth pocket or as a pocket dropper. Now, all these knives you'll see here are all under three inches, closed. That's very important to the end of this video. Um, this is beautifully coated. This is titanium coated scales, which I have on a few of my Rough Riders. It gives them a black tone, a black shiny tone. Let me just show you like that. Look at that. It's like stonewashed underneath the titanium. I've been using this. But look at that beautiful blade. Look at that. It weighs nothing. It weighs, I'm sure it doesn't even weigh an ounce hardly. But I just want, oh, I just want to show you the, let me just get this. It's all gone haywire on me now. Right. The blade length is under two inches. The cutting edge is under two inches. The overall length is just under five inches. So it's a tiny knife. It is not going to something that you're going to baton with. It's something you're just going to, it's got a half stop. Oh, I just clamped up my finger. It's got a lovely little small pen blade, sturdy little blade. And look, there's no movement in that blade. 16 pound, no movement. Look, nothing, nothing at all. That's what I call a great fit and finish. Are the blades lined up down the centre? No, they're not. They're off to the side. Doesn't matter a jot. The back springs are good. There's very little gapping, if any at all. They're both completely solidly built. Blades on the knife and no. Like, look, at that's a skinny little blade. Look at that. Look at, you look up here. There is no movement there whatsoever absolutely stunning so why would i recommend these look as you know you all know i love a little small slip joint but some of these are not slip joints they're locking knives look i'll take this one up here again it's a small knife 
This is a bastion. It's in a really high grade quality steel. I think it's S35 VN FR D2. What is this one? D2. D2 titanium scales. It's a beautiful little knife. Again, about the same size as the peanut. But a lovely little knife. This one's a wee bit more sturdy. Am I going to do different things with this than I am with this? Probably not. This is cutting bits of thread. This is opening a letter. Doing a box with it quite happily. I would use a small blade, to be honest with you. It's great for little boxes. And if you're opening a box, you can get your finger up here and just cut in as far as you want to. Just, just a handy knife. So... This is the part of the video. I told you it wasn't going to be that. Look, it's a peanut. We've all seen them, or most people have seen them. I have a lovely white bone up here, a little white bone peanut. And I love the black and white looks together. Different, uh, different. Um, let me just show you. I'm talking through my backside here half the time. Do you see the nail neck is a bit bigger on the, the bottom one? That's really the only difference. And the swoop of the clip is nicer, I think, in this new one. So, what's my goal? Right, here's the, here's the little challenge. And I want to put this to all my subs who want to take part. Over this next week, for two days, I would love you to carry the smallest knife you've got, i.e. anything that's under three inches closed. I would love you to carry it for two days and use it for as much as you can use it for. Rather than using your bigger knife, use a small one for everything you can possibly use it for. Then next week on Sunday, I'm going to put a video up for a response. And I would love you to come back in and tell me what you thought about using your little knife for two days. What was its shortcomings or did it surprise you on how good it performed on your everyday cutting tasks? Because we're all talking about the big knives that we carry, you know. We're all this, you know, big knife. Put that, look at that there. Do I need this? Most of the time not. Is it nice to have in my pocket? Very, very much so. And I don't want people to get rid of that. But I want you to carry a small knife with it and use it for as much as you can so that you don't have to use your blade on your good knife. I think you'll be impressed at how much a little knife like this this is a completely inexpensive one. That's quite expensive. There's other ones at different prices around here. This is one that uh, Berg Knife done for me. Oh, another. This is not probably what is the blade length on this? The blade length is under two inches again. So, I mean, whatever style of knife you have, just carry it, that little small knife, for two days. And then next Sunday, when I put up the video response video, please go in. And give me a, an idea of what you thought of it. And is it something you would maybe keep doing or do on a more regular basis? And there'll be a little surprise, shall we say. Just a surprise for those who partake, partake in the little experiment. So I highly recommend this little peanut. Either one of the two. Um, Heine Haynes does them, but I love this black bone. If you've got this, this is lovely because the blade shape's different. The nail neck is different. It's, you know, the blade makeup is different. It's titanium coated. But, oh, what a gorgeous knife. Thank you very much for watching. Please look out next Sunday. There'll be a nice surprise for those who partake. And enjoy your two days with a little small knife. Take care, everybody. Paddy's gone. Bye now.